Every fall, employees have an opportunity to pick an insurance plan. During open enrollment, it's important to find a plan that meets your needs, especially as medical debt continues to soar. Yeah, uh, that medical debt can become overwhelming, right? Financial instructor Michael Mazarin of the Retirement Education Foundation here to help us make sense of our options and also share how a health savings account can make a big difference. Michael, welcome. Thank you so much. This is the time of year to be talking about this open enrollment for many companies, of mm -hmm. course, in the fall. Uh, kicking in in January. So what do we look at uh, as far as your lifestyle to figure out if, and, and some people just keep going along and you just get the same from last year, but you might <laughs> want to make a change, right? Yeah, so it can be tricky. There there can be a lot of, op a lot of options out there. It really boils down to you know, some of the big choices are, do you typically have a lot of medical expenses or not? Because if you're a relatively you know, healthy person, maybe you don't have a whole lot of medical expenses, you can probably get away with a lower monthly premium and a higher out of pocket because if we're not going to the doctors very often, we don't have a lot of expensive prescriptions, we won't have that many costs. Now, on the other hand, if you have a lot of medical concerns or upcoming surgery, upcoming you know, birth of a child, have more medical bills in the future, maybe it might, be, it might make a lot of sense to opt for the higher monthly premiums, but lower out-of-pocket costs. Yeah, because I, you know, I have these two, two little ones, two under 10, and it feels like they're at the doctor 100 times a year. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, so that impacts what you choose and an, based on an employer-related uh, insurance company. Exactly. And, and especially for uh, people who are retired, retirees from Medicare, you, this is the, your choice to pick between Advantage plans and supplemental plans and which plan works best for you. It's a really underrated thing. A lot of people retire and they think, well, I'm healthy right now. I'll get the really cheap health insurance through Medicare. You are not purchasing health insurance for your health right now. You are purchasing health insurance for the future health. Mm. Because one big misconception is people assume, well, I'll get the cheaper health insurance right now and then when I get sick, I'll upgrade it. Mm. But once you get sick, you have a pre-existing condition. They can't kick you off your current mm. uh, your current health insurance, but you might not be able to imp improve your health insurance down the road. So if you have the means to do so, please do not skimp on health insurance. It's health insurance is has got to be as people uh, eyeball retirement or just going through day-to-day -day life. It's one of the big expenses that can be overwhelming, especially we talk about this medical debt. Um, it, it, because the way we do it too, you go to the doctor and then you come home, you have no idea what, what you owe, <laughs> yeah. and then you get a bill in the mail, and you're like, wait a minute, especially, so I have a high deductible health insurance plan. Um, let's talk about the benefit of that. So one of the benefits for a high deductible health insurance plan is you have access to something called a health savings account, HSA for short. An HSA is like a savings account that is similar to a retirement account in that you can contribute to it or maybe some employers contribute to it for you as a benefit. And health savings accounts, HSAs, are really powerful. They are the only account that is triple tax deferred. I'm sorry, triple tax advantage. It is tax deferred on the way in, meaning you get a tax break for putting money into the account. It grows tax free and you can withdraw it tax free as long as you're spending on medical expenses. So HSAs, if someone has a high deductible plan, they should be saving to their HS HSAs because it doesn't make sense not to. What if you have all that money in an HSA account and don't use it, don't need it for so, health you know, related expenses? So over a lifetime, uh, to be honest, we have not met a single person <laughs> okay. who has not had health expenses. <laughs> At some point, pop right. up. And it's not like flexible spending accounts where you have to spend it within that calendar year. So that's a flexible spending account, FSA, is a little trickier because you, if, if there's unused funds in that account, it goes back to the employer. An, an employer contributes to it. If you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. With an HSA, it can roll over and grow and grow and grow, which is really powerful. What would you say to people who might maybe sitting there watching this right now with a stack of medical bills on their counter that are this high yeah. and are so overwhelmed in debt, they just don't know what to do. So I will by no means proclaim to be a, prof a professional when it comes to medical debt management, but I do know you can you call these, call the hospitals, call these mm -hmm. companies and just set up payment plans and work with them because they will work with people. Mm -hmm. They just, they understand, especially if someone's under a lot of medical debt, it's tough. So, th so they, they will work with people and they will set up arrangements. Very good. Yeah, and you don't need to call them, they'll be calling you. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, thank you, Michael. It is one of those things that is um, uh, our health care and, and the dis it can be so overwhelming. There's so many different options and the price of it is often a mystery. So it can be frustrating, but uh, the more we know, the better off we can we'll let be. Let people know where you can get more resources. R-E-F-E-D-U dot org. We do have a, a Medicare video, especially online for anyone who's looking at different Medicare plans on the website. R-E-F-E-D-U dot org. Thanks so much, Michael. We appreciate it. Of course.